Welcome to Immortal Wisdom with Leon Denis. I'm Vanessa Saloni and this is the 10th video of a 15 video series on 15 amazing chapters written by the renowned spiritist writer Leon Denis in the book After Death, which you can acquire at the website of the Spirit, the United States Spiritist Council, Spiritist. Dot us. This book is phenomenal, has changed many lives, and this chapter today may be very transformative too. It's about prayer. Prayer is, what is it? What is it exactly? Prayer, as Leon Denis says, is the soul's intimate outpouring towards God. It's a solitary conversation. It's always useful and mostly profitable meditation. It's the refuge of the afflicted and the brokenhearted. It's a mysterious dialogue. And he says, a mysterious dialogue because there is always a secret voice that responds to our cry that ascends above earthly things. Why not pray? He says many people undermine it, either because... They don't know what it is or they don't know how to do it. Do you know how to pray? You don't have to be forced to know how to pray. Because let's understand this. Nobody teaches us. Spiritism does. In the last two chapters of the book, The Gospel According to Spiritism, Ellen Kardec teaches us how to pray and what prayer is all about. Beyond any rescues the concepts in this chapter. What is a prayer? It's a thought. It's communication with God. We don't need an intermediary. It's us and God directly. Oh, but Vanessa, your prayer is better. No, no, it's not. A sincere prayer can reach God very easily. We have an umbilical connection with God. All we need to do is trust and communicate. We don't need a formula, but if you want to use it, you need to feel it. It must be a heartfelt prayer. But why do we pray? Kardec says three things, and Leon Denis rescues that in this chapter. We pray to ask for something. We pray to be grateful for things. And we also pray to praise God. Not because God needs our praising, but because when we get into this frequency about the meditating of the greatness of God, we elevate our vibrations and lives become much better. We connect better with the higher minds, the higher spirits that are messengers of God. And... Leon Denis says to us, praying is like a window open to the invisible, to the infinite, through which one can receive thousands of comforting and sublime impressions. So next time we pray, it's like opening a window. Ah, to thousands of beautiful souls who are more evolved than us and can tell us messages. It's like opening and saying, Hi. And they say, oh, you're amazing, figuratively speaking. But we receive good messages. The souls being impregnated, exhilarated by the impressions in which they fortify themselves as in regenerating fluidic bath. And he says this, it's very important, because in this message, he's going to tell us, that we can pray at any time. There's no set time. There's no set day to actually pray. No, no. We can pray at any time. And he says, ideally, you pray in the morning when we, we wake up and when we go to bed. Why? Because when we are entering another day in our reincarnation, we pray so we are fully aware of what we're doing here. As Emmanuel says in a message that we recently read in our God at Home meeting, 
which is a very important meeting to do in your home, a weekly prayer. That's the God at home. And Emmanuel says in the book, Living Spring, by, by the psychography of Chico Xavier, when we pray, when we get aware about who we are and that we are here to serve God, things follow through. Sometimes our lives are stuck because we're not aware of what we're doing in this life. All we need to do is pray. Pray to get the synchronization, which must be conscious. Emmanuel says more. He says, the capacity we have in our lives happens as a byproduct of our efforts. But the essence inside of us is the same for everybody. So if somebody gets um, to achieve certain levels of capabilities, it's not because they are better than us. It's because they have put more effort and more time on it. And if we do the same, we can get there or higher. Like Jesus said, you can do what I do and much more. He was humble, but he was also very wise when he said that. Because he was telling us the essence inside of us is the same for everybody. Well, um, uh, Leon Denis here talks about the fact that Oftentimes we pray and we get frustrated because we don't get what we want, what we're asking. And he says we cannot change the immutable justice. We cannot. And he says the following. In our daily prayer, the wise never ask for a happy destiny. Oh God, please give me a happy day. No. They never ask that pain, disappointments, and setbacks be taken away from them. Rather, the wise spirits wish to know the law in order to better follow it, the law of God. They beg for, what they beg for is the aim, the aid from above, the assistance of the good spirits in order to bear the bad days with dignity. That's amazing. And he explains to us that prayer works in this fashion. That's how it works. He gives an analogy. It's like when water is hit by a stone, one sees the surface vibrate in concentric undulations. When we pray, our thought is like the stone in the sea of universal cosmic fluid. It goes far according to the intensity, the strength, the intention. So the strength of our prayer goes according to our faith. So that's why I say, oh, please pray for me. No, pray for yourself. Let's pray together because Leon Denis says, collective prayer is very powerful. This is page 314. He says, Unite to pray, said the Apostle Paul. The prayer said collectively works like a bundle of wills and of thoughts, like beams, harmonies and scents directed more powerfully toward the goal. But we need to learn to pray collectively. It's not simple. Because people say, oh, we're praying together, but each one is praying for their own aims and goals in life. No, no, no. When we pray together, we have the same thoughts and feelings. Like when we read the books by Andrea Luis through Chico Xavier, we get to know of collective prayers and everybody is focusing on the words that are being said by those who are leading a prayer. Not because they know more, because it's like the conductor of an orchestra. Everybody with their own instruments, but following through that mental command. It's an exercise, a beautiful exercise for all of us. And he says something very surprising here I would like to share with you. He says, we talk so much about charity and people say, oh, 
oh Vanessa I miss so much because I cannot do cherry like I did in uh, less developed countries but Leon Denis says one of the most efficient forms of charity is praying for the wretched spirits praying compassionately and lovingly prayer can be practiced by anyone Everyone can facilitate the soul's disengagement and shorten the duration of death, of the disincarnation of somebody who's dying. He's telling us that we can help and expedite the progress of people who are criminals, who are suffering, if we pray for them with compassion and love. That's charity. So prayer groups for others is charity. And he says, we can send those thoughts magnified and multiplied by God's love to those who are suffering. And they are enveloped by those energies. Nowadays we say energies, but in spirits we say fluids. If we go to the Genesis book, we're going to find in chapter 14 a match to what Leon Denis is saying. He's saying to us precisely what Kardec explained. When we think, it's as if we are using hands to manipulate like clay, which is the universal matter. And we are creating vivid forms. They have life. And they give quality to these energies that surround us, the fluids, and people can feel it. So when we pray, we can send it to those who are in need. And those beneficial fluids are going to be helping people be healthier in their souls and consequently manifesting in their bodies too. Of course, the mathematics of God is beyond this linear thought. But it's important to know that this is the mechanism. And he says, <clears throat> the beneficial fluids accumulate and flow into the perispirit of the loved ones. That's beautiful. And he says, if you want to know a little bit about what it is a prayer, Let's finalize with this thought, okay? For us. My God, this is Leon Denis praying to give us an example. Let's feel it. Feel it now. My God, who are grand, who are everything, make fall upon me so little, upon me who only exists because it is your will I do so. One ray of your light. Grant that being penetrated by your love, I may find it easier to do good and avoid evil. That moved by the desire to please you, my spirit may overcome the obstacles that hinder the triumph of the truth of the error and of fraternity over selfishness. Make that I may consider each one of my companions in trial as a brother or sister, just like you see a sun in which one of the beings that emanate from you and shall return to you. Grant me to love work, which is everyone's duty on the earth, and by means of the beacon you have provided me with, enlighten me about the imperfections that are delaying my advancement in this life as well as in the other. This is a prayer. This is food for the soul. Let us rejoice and thank Leon Denis for these teachings.